Ooh, I can't believe it. Look, you guys, look where we're at. We are at Port Canaveral, which is about an hour from Orlando. We can't see anything but trees and grass. It's like <laughs> right over the bridge we just went over, I saw a whale tail. A whale tail. And you know what that means? If we're headed towards the whale tail, we're about to go on a carnival cruise. Wait, the carnival's the only ones that have whale tails? Yes. Really? That's their big, you know. Thing. Oh, the yellow thing. It's not yellow, it's blue and red. Oh, the blue and red thing. <laughs> I think of a ship, I think of like a whale tail. Ooh, look at a bird's nest up there. That's weird. Anyway, this is like our pre cruise vlog, which we've been doing in the car on the drive lately because <laughs> we're so busy Why not? before the cruise. Um, but we're here, yeah, Port Canaveral. The we're last, here. Yeah, the last time we sailed out of Port Canaveral, the only time, right, Elizabeth? No, two I times. I thought we did two times. We did. On the Enchantment of the Seas. And this is my exit. Once we drove and once Trevon dropped us off, didn't he? Yeah. And that was uh, two years ago. No way, it hasn't been two years. Yeah. I think we go over this bridge and then like a big it's been a circle. Year and, a half. and then the ship's are over here. Oh my gosh, I can't wait, 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 you can't see it. I'm so excited. No, you can't. <laughs> wait, wait, no. So what this is, is the Carnival Magic, which is a really big carnival ship. Well, how many carnivals have we been on? Once, twice? We've been on the Glory. I know the Glory. And the Ecstasy. And then I've been on the Victory. So this is my fourth carnival, her third carnival. But it's the biggest carnival we've ever been on. I'm the biggest carnival there. you've ever been on, of course, the Glory. But this one's big. I don't remember the Glory. When we went, it was so many years ago. Two years ago. Like, yeah, but two years is a long time, especially from my memory. And it was uh, like our first cruise and, like, after from like, what, 10 years or something? Like yes. forever? So it was all like um, just new and different again. I just don't really remember it that great, do you? Yeah, you, you probably do. She probably does. She has a good memory. I don't. Yeah. But so I am super excited, especially to be on a big one. I think she said it has like a ropes course and uh -huh, lots of water lots slides. Lots of fun stuff. And guess what? Look, you Park see any, behind us. You see any kids or anything? Just a couple of suitcases. <laughs> <laughs> it's just us. You know Here. what that means? Sisters cruise. Sisters Woo! are cruising. Do you know it's been a year since we had a sisters cruise? And you know what, you guys, we really need this. Um, we need to like to bond again and to have this time alone because you know I don't know if you guys know or not, but our mom recently died. Like what, just a week and a half or two? Well, ago? By the time they wrote these vlogs, it'll probably be a couple months ago. But yeah, it was unexpected, and we we're gonna we actually talk about it on our. It's weird we haven't yet, but we will by the time you watch this. We have so. And we're probably gonna be talking <laughs> we'll about talk a lot about of like, personal on, stuff. Yeah, and with the Donahoe's our other channel. Yeah. But, but you know it's been stressful and it's been. You know, it's just so much has been going on, and I, I just can't wait to have this two days with you, from Amy. now. Two days from now, it's been a month since she passed Love away. You. I know, I am too. So happy to be sisters on this cruise. Forever. <laughs> so sisters cruise. Sisters cruise. <laughs> I see it. Where? Are you always see it first. The trees. You always see it first. Look, you guys. I was gonna tell you about the ship. Just so you know, it's April twentieth, and today is its first day in Florida. Welcome to Florida. <gasps> is that it's big? Oh, so big! I see it. Welcome to Florida. It's Where'd first it come day in Florida. It came from Galveston, Texas, just like the North, uh, Navigator of the Seas. No did. way! We sailed on that the first day it was here, and this is the first day it's here. At least it's here, though. Yeah, it's going to be doing <laughs> seven night cruises, and this is a three night because we like catching the ships when they transfer. When they come over, they usually do like a three or four night. And we did the Regal Princess also. You mean because like they normally do seven, but yeah. when they transfer because they're in the There's middle like, of couple Switch of and extra days there. Huh. And the other cool thing is you guys, it's not even like a month ago, it came out of a couple of month long dry dock where they added tons of stuff to it, refurbished it, added different restaurants and bars. So that's gonna all be new since, you know. So even if you guys have been on it, it's this new is now. like new now. Yeah, so. it's new now. It was just like only did a couple sailing. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> You know what? There's like nothing like the first sight of your ship on embarkation day. Carnival magic. Really, there's not. I know. <laughs> it's sitting there in port. Waiting for you. Waiting for you. You can go and board it <gasps> anytime. Look at, look at, look at, look at. Look at, look at. It's so big. It is huge. Wow, it's actually so pretty. Look at the ropes course. Carnival says they were the first one to put a ropes course on a ship. Did you know that? Oh, is that it right there? That little round thing? Yeah, in the section, middle section. I guess after the escape is not going to be like, you know, super spectacular. But it's super cool to have one. I yeah. mean, to have activities like that, a ship really does make a difference. Yeah. You know? But you guys, it's a three night cruise. Mm -hmm. It leaves here from Port Canaveral. 
it goes to Nassau, and then it come, it goes a day at sea, and then it comes back. Oh, I don't know if it's my exit. Oh, this is this, I think. I think? I'm just gonna go Yeah, I think it is. Uh, okay. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. Is there anything I'm forgetting? It's just me and Elizabeth, sister's cruise, three nights, super fun, we can't wait. Woo oh my god, it's huge! Oh, there's the ship, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. This is new cruise log. So we just did a U-turn because we've never been on this side of the... <laughs> Terminal. Thank you. I was about to say, what is this called? A terminal. Yeah. We're always on the other side over there. So this is cool. Yeah, I guess it's parking the parking garage. Oh yeah, that's it right there. And I love this uh term this port? No. Port Canaveral. Port, yeah, it is a port. I love Port Canaveral. It's like so never quiet. busy. Yes, it's stress free. It really is. Miami's fun, it's a big city and it's action and it's, it's exciting. But the drive is so long. This is only an hour from home. And one hour. Uh, if I can go out of any port, I'd always go to Port Canaveral. Oh, yeah. You? Mm -hmm. Always. I love now, it. Now, it's more difficult if you're flying, though, because yeah. you fly to Orlando and then take a transportation yeah. for an hour here. But if you're like us and you only live an hour and a half away, then this would be your port an of hour, choice. An hour to Orlando. Hour but guess away. what? You Look guys. at it. It's like calm and relaxing. I was gonna give you a timestamp. Look at it, sorry. Look up there. That's okay, go ahead. I'm it's, going on it. I'm going you show on them, it. I'll tell them the timestamp. It's 1119. I think that's the latest we've ever arrived at a cruise ship, just so you guys know. 1119 doesn't feel like 11. We got up like at six something or seven. <sighs> we got up I think seven. we got up seven. Yeah. Oh, you know, well. sometimes it's like time warp. Hey, you gotta live your life the way you want. And we wanted to be here a little later. We want to try it out. And we knew, happens. we knew that it wasn't a busy kind of like crazy port like Miami. Yeah, but so. it's a big ship, so we still might a long wait. But who cares? Let's see. We'll We're see. We're usually on 11:45 to 12, so we'll see what time we get on now, you guys. You said it's 11:20. It's 11:20. So what time do you think? Take a guess. You're good at that. Um, it says two parking. So is that not parking That's, then? I don't know. Let's see what time, Amy. It kind of looks like parking, but I guess it's not. <laughs> guess. <laughs> what? Guess what time you think we'll be on the ship? Oh, that's the parking garage. What time will be on the ship? Hmm. Let me think a minute. Look, there's NASA. I don't feel like I'm going to parking. NASA Space weird? Center? Um, if it's 11, Look, 20. Wi Fi, this is the perfect way to see if there's Wi Fi ever where you're like you're at a port or something. Is we see the people sitting out there on their phones I haven't like seen that. I'm like this right at the cruise port. That's really cool. Um. Look, you pay right here. Huh. You guys, I'll let you guys know how much it is. It could be $15, it could be $20 a day. I'm not sure. Miami's, $100 a day. No. Miami's 20 Port Everglades is 15 I think. Look, um, they sell stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, especially a lot of radios, stuff like that. Probably the cruise, cruise employees yeah. would need to come off here and grab it real quick, go back on. My guess, what time I get on? I don't know. One. Really? I was thinking like it usually takes an hour to go thirty. Inside. I guess that'd be and one. If you're already yeah. later than everybody else, you're gonna get a longer number to get on. Okay. What they do is you that give makes numbers sense. by the time you arrive. So there's people that's been in there already for two hours. They're gonna uh, get on before you. We what time does it leave? It has to be here by two, I think, and it leaves at four. That's fine. Yeah. One to four, and then they don't do the muster after it leaves or before? I forget. They always have to do muster before it sets sail. So it's usually like three thirty. Well, pull. That's cool. We're not going to pull this time when we get on. Yeah. So. No. We're just gonna. Go get some eat and have some fun. Who knows what I just to want to do a lot of exploring today. And I, I want to do. do a lot of stuff the next three days. I, I do, because really we're alone. I want to do lots of stuff. Okay, wait, how much is it? Oh, $60. That's it? Per well, day? It's $20 a day. And obviously, they take the amount of time Oh, because it's a three day cruise? Yeah. Huh. Pretty busy. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to park, and uh, I guess all the indoor parking is taken. That's okay, it's just for three days. Yeah, I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I'm I so love excited. exploring ships. I really do. Especially new ones, yeah, that we haven't been on, and large ones, and carnival. I can't wait to see what the food's like. Well, you know, when the Vista comes out, it's going to be the biggest, but I, um, right now, this is one of the biggest, if not the biggest. I know the Breeze is like the biggest, and I don't know if it's a sister ship of the Breeze or if the Breeze is a little newer. This one's only like two years old, you know that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Are we going on the Vista? Yeah, next year. It's funny because we have the Vista booked and we wanted to book it for when it first came out, like in November this year, but we didn't because they didn't have any. What well, was my fault? Let me give you guys a tip. You might have heard this before. <laughs> book a ship as early as you can, even if it's a year and a half before it even is finished being built. Yeah, a lot of people okay. might be like, oh, we'll wait or we'll see if the prices get cheaper uh -huh. or have, you know, more no, options. No, they're going to go up and they're going to sell out of the good rooms. Like our seaside cruise on the MSC, we booked two years ahead of time but we got an amazing price and per perks but anyway back to the whole thing i was gonna 
booked the Vista when it was first oh, open for booking, okay, you guys? And I didn't. And I was going to get the Havana room. And then I waited, and the Havana rooms were all gone. And not only were they all gone, they were all gone until November next year. And that's the one I really a wanted. A year later. It was so cool. So I was like, going to stay in the inside room? No. So what we did is we actually had to wait until November of 2017 to get a Havana room. And that's what we got. And so that's where we're going. But there's the ship, you guys. We're going to get on it now. We're going to go on inside. We can't take you in the terminal because you're not allowed to have are video. Are people already on it? Look at all those people inside there. Yes, they are already on it. They obviously let people on early oh, already. So, so we might not be a long way. We might as well get on. Exactly. But Let's what go, we usually go. like to do is come Park. early so we can be the first ones Park on. Park right there. Right there? Right there. Right there? Right there. Right there? Right there. Right here. Yeah. Right here. No! Yeah, because no one's on my left side. <laughs> Fine! <laughs> uh, oh, okay, there we go. Oh, here we come, Carnival Magic! Welcome to Florida Carnival Magic! Everybody who's going on it, including us and everybody else, for us, have fun! Florida's better than Texas! Sorry, you guys in Texas. 